All right, let's take a look at the Anthem Arc Genesis results that I achieved in my living room setup with an Anthem STR. All right, following up the review video, I wanted to kind of break down the Anthem Arc uh, results and adjustments and, and details and such that I used for the calibration in my living room space. A quick mention, my living room is a 2.2 audio system. It's running a pair of Focal in-wall 1000 series IW LCR6s and a pair of Triad in-wall bronze subwoofers. The subwoofers are amplified off of a rack amp, Triad rack amp 300, one rack amp per subwoofer, and the Focals are amplified off of channels of two different, one channel each of two different Parasound A52 Plus amplifiers. And of course, this is all done with the Anthem STR. The STR is running the latest firmware available, 1.8.30, that was just made available at the beginning of May 2022. And all of this was done with Arc Genesis version 1.6.9 in the beta. Already at the time of this recording, there is a 1.6.10 that doesn't materially change the features and the capabilities, additional bug fixes and improvements as they continue to develop the current version of the software and hopefully soon bring it out of beta and into a production release. In my living room, I did do a seven point measurement. I did the normal five points around the main listening position and then I kind of did one wide on the one side of the couch and another wide onto the other side of the couch to try to get some points uh, on kind of each of the wings where we do sometimes sit in the room here. So let's take a look first how things were set up. I'm basically using one measurement here. I didn't do multiple measurements, one measurement, one profile. I called it main, as said, seven positions to measure. I'm running the two subs in stereo mode, and I set my front distance here using a laser measuring device to the MLP and achieved uh, or, and measured a distance of about 13 feet. That's used for calculating for ARC and Anthem to calculate and present speaker distance and delay in terms of units of distance. So let's take a look at the curve viewer. We'll take a look at each speaker for this profile. And I'm just going to leave a couple things on here. We'll take a look at the unaltered measurement and the target curve and the corrected curve that Anthem was able to achieve, ARC was able to achieve for the room. So this is the front left Focal 1000 series. The red curve, again, is the unaltered measurement floating here around like the mid 60 dB range across the frequency spectrum that it ran. These Focals do have a bump in the lower base and a little bit of some squirreliness kind of through the mid range leading into this higher frequency jump there. The black curve is the target curve. I will go over the setting of my house curve and, and how I adjusted it. Suffice to say, I do a low frequency bump and then a trailing off into the high frequencies. Difference there of close to close to 10 dB between the lows and the highs. Um, it might be a little hard to see in the video, but you can see using the filters, using the boost and the trims and all the stuff that Anthem applies, the achieved curve is very, very close to that target curve within a, a very small plus or minus range through some of the more squirrely range here, but otherwise tracking very, very nicely. If we look at the front right, similar type of behavior here. This one comes off a little bit tighter. Note my left speaker kind of opens up on its side to the adjacent room through a big opening. The right speaker over to its side is an exterior wall. So there's a little bit more of a boundary for me on the right speakers than the left. If we take a look at the left subwoofer, again the triad bronze, we can see some peaks, we can see some nulls, but otherwise able to EQ pretty good there. It had a little harder time holding through this dip. This is a pretty significant knoll. However, on the right side, we don't have that same, there's squirreliness here, but it doesn't have the same drop off. And again, the calibration did what it could to do did what it could do to hold this target curve overall pretty well, I think. So if we look at the settings themselves, again, I'm using just one profile. I called it name and it doesn't, I called it main and it does include 
all of my speakers. Here's the trims that Anthem Arc was applying, plus eight to the left speaker, eight and a half dB to the right speaker, and actually in, in this view anyway, kind of pulling down on the subwoofers a bit, and you can see it calculating the distances there. If I change this to Imperial 1310, 132, 13, calculating the auto delay. So in terms of the targets, let me zoom this in to fill up some more of the screen here. So this is my house curve, and after tinkering with ARC quite a bit with the APM-70 in the theater, I kind of arrived at a couple of adjustments that I tend to prefer based on what I've learned using ARC and, and listening to the Anthem products. So the, one of the first things I do is I, I take my room gain, room gain up to the maximum, 6. I found that Anthem applies a room gain, room, room gain of about 3 dB. It did, this, it did 3 dB in my theater. It also did 3 dB by default in the living room. So I take that up to 6 and still add a, a, a hair, just a little bit of deep bass boost, in this case just 1. And, and, and pulling down, though, on the tilt. The tilt level brings the high frequency down, putting a minus 2. Only other real tweak I have in here is I did lower the deep bass boost center frequency. I think by default that comes in at 50. I pulled that back down to about 30. And so this, this is an in-wall subwoofer. It's a living room. You can see there's definitely a drop-off here as we approach 20 hertz. And, and the, these are not the Arundels. This is not the theater. This is not a treated room, although it does have a variety of acoustical benefits and merits to it with a lot of diffusion in the back with the bookcases, big couch, uh, thick rug with some thick padding underneath. It's a living room. This is not a dedicated and treated home theater space. So we can see the transition crossover here, right between the, the low frequency subs and the speakers themselves. And all in all, these target curves track from a high just over 80 dB down approaching 70 dB at the highest, highest level there kind of look through the specific speakers themselves. I did not adjust these, so the settings that I'm getting here, the crossover, the roll-off, and all of that is as applied by Anthem. The one thing that I do tend to do myself is I correct all the way out to 20K, particularly with these Focals and this the big rise that I found in the, in the 1000 series through these high frequencies. I wouldn't want to EQ to 5K and have this pulled down only to have it pop right back up again right after. To me, I, I just think I prefer the consistency in that of taking the equalization, taming these long kind of humps out all the way through to the end, and then pulling that trailing off towards the end as well. I don't think it makes sense to try to apply a tilt, bringing balance all the way through your high frequencies, and then not EQ to the tilt all the way out to the end. All right, so on the subwoofer side, you can see this is set by Anthem and what ARC calculated, high frequency extension, 160 hertz, low frequency slope, third order, phase done by Anthem ARC as well, and the other extensions and minimum frequency all also set by Anthem. So that's the target that I set and that Anthem was calculating to, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. If we look at the final summaries again, here's kind of a similar view to the curve fitter, but the measured curve with adjustments and trim relative to the fully tracked target curve. Real close, little plus or minus, left subwoofer with that one dip just above 100 hertz, but that's beyond the crossover point as well, so we're crossing these over per anthem at 80, and so it, it, uh, the difference is already sloping out at that point regardless. So I am very, very happy with this system. I would strongly, strongly recommend it. Getting the STR, I wasn't expecting to have the STR in my hands at this point. I figured that was going to be a longer term purchase or goal. Circumstances was able to put it into my hands. I'm very grateful and thankful for that fact. And yeah, so that's that's my 2.2 Focal Triad Anthem Parasound settings, house curve, tracking, measurement, arc, all of that with phase integration, auto delay, and the whole, the whole gamut of everything Anthem Arc brings to the table. If you have any questions, ask them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, ways to basically kind of further improve what you're seeing here. You know, if I'm doing something wrong at this point, I think I've gotten better experienced with this tool. 
and with this software. And so I think I'm better, uh, better, getting better results out of it and making better settings in it. But I'm not perfect, and there's always, always more to learn and tweak in this hobby. So as I continue to do that, I will definitely update and share my thoughts. Ask away in the comments. Give me some feedback. Do all the YouTube stuff. Please like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, share this content if you think it could be useful for somebody. I like this custom curve settings in general, and I would recommend that you maybe give these a shot in your own space. And if you do, let me know what you think. Were they for the better? Were they for the, for the worse? Thanks so much for watching and come on back for all kinds of additional anthem and home theater type of stuff. And if you want to check out the full, more detailed thoughts in Anthem STR review, follow the link popping up on your screen now. Thanks so much.